saying is, don't blame me, you. And that Reverend Bleeding Heart felt you're up there in his ivory shower. <laughs> now, that's enough. Talking about a man of the cloth that way. God could punish you for that. God? What God? Yeah, what God? What was that? Did you hear him? Did you hear her? What was that remark, Sonny? I think we better eat now. I want to know what you meant by what God? It's nothing, Archie. It's, it's nothing. You need God, so forget it. That's no way to talk on the Sabbath, Mike. Stifle, Edith. That's no way to talk to your father-in-law. Edith, I told you. I mean, Sunday is a day of peace and rest, and you need a nice brunch. Edith, will you stifle? Archie, we're all hungry. Will you stifle? <laughs> Don't touch nothing. <laughs> Nobody eats nothing around here. We get this thing straight. Now, Sonny boy, you made a certain referential remark there. So <laughs> ago, along the following lines. What God, you said. And I heard your wife, my flesh and blood, repeat it. So let's hear it again, huh? What did you mean by what God? We just don't see any evidence of God, that's all. That's right, Daddy. That's right, yes. <laughs> well, I knew we had a couple of pinkos in this house, but I didn't know we had atheists. Did you know that, Edith, that we had a pair of atheists under this roof? Maybe if we could just eat a little something. Where you stand for, you silly dingbat! <laughs> I don't want no more arguments. We are not arguing, we're discussing. I don't care what you call it, it's still arguing. We're having what we always have around here. A discussion. I don't see the difference. That's because you're a ding. <laughs> and get that ridiculous hat off your head. Now, will you stay out of this? So long as you don't argue. Edith, stay the hell out of this. Oh! <laughs> what's, what's the matter? What's the matter? Get away from me, you meathead. It's all your fault. You nearly bite the hand off. Well, what did he do? He helps himself to coffee, then he turns the handle around the other way. <laughs> Yeah. Right about in there? Yeah. You know what I think we ought to do? What do you think? I think we ought to eat. <laughs> Give me over the ketchup there, will you? Oh, ketchup on eggs, Daddy, really. Daddy really has been eating ketchup on eggs since before you was born, little girl. So don't let it concern you, huh? <coughs> <laughs> Well, I won't do him no harm, neither. Last time I seen him lifting a hand around here, he was testing his deodorant. Mom! Oh, Archie, leave him alone. Yeah, what do you want from me anyway? I, I, I don't have time to do anything. I'm, I'm studying six hours, I'm in class six hours. You know, it's not easy going to college. It's hard work. For you, it's like building the pyramids. <laughs> I'll tell you, you know, all that sociology and studying that welfare stuff, I don't call that no hard work. Daddy, leave him alone. I think that it's beautiful that Michael wants to help the underprivileged. Listen, he wants to help the underprivileged. Let him start with himself. <laughs> he's got no brains. He's got no ambition. If that ain't underprivileged, I don't know what is. <laughs> That's it. Mother, we're moving out of here. I'm not going to stay in this house another minute to see my husband insulted like that. Archie, say you're sorry. If she leaves here, she'll be dead inside a year. <laughs> You don't have to worry. They ain't going nowhere. Well, you don't know what it is, Archie. She can't be cleaning an apartment and cooking and marketing. Why, Dr. Feinstein says she's anemic. Don't give me that. For 10 bucks, some of these doctors will tell you anything you want to hear. It's the best there is when it comes to blood. My own cousin from the hospital said so. Your cousin from the hospital empties bedpans. Don't make him out no specialist. <laughs> I know what Dr. Feinberg said. Feinstein. Feinstein, Feinberg, it all comes to the same thing, and I know that tribe. <laughs> I'm telling you, Archie, them kids don't leave this house until Mike can provide for her proper.